Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie Abby and I make videos about home, fashion, beauty, soul, and so, so, so much more. Okay, today I have a Sephora haul and I'm just going to get right into it. The first category I have is hair care, followed by skin care, and then finally some makeup tidbits that I also picked up. So let's get into hair care. The first product I purchased was the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. So I heard about this from the Glam Twins, Kelsey and Kendra, and I'm really excited to use this product. Um, it's a thick mask. This was like $36, y'all, and I don't be spending that much. Ooh, I don't want any of this to drip. That's 15 cents worth of deep conditioner. Let me just put that right big. <laughs> it smells good. Apparently, this is clean beauty, and also, I think Briogeo is black-owned, so I'm really excited about this. It also says it's an Allure. 2019 beauty winner so this deep conditioning mask I'm very excited to try I have my hair is just is is looking good y'all it's looking good um the next thing I have on my list for hair care I bought was the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density and it looks like this oh wait it looks like this, this is the box So I bought this. I have thick hair. It's just my edges from braids. And also, like, I'm not gonna lie, genetically we have like a hairline that's like we playing with. And I'm gonna use this on my hairline. Hopefully I'll do a video to review it. Um, so it's a serum. This was $17 and something cents. But this all the prices I'm mentioning are like without the discount. Hopefully I'll put the prices at the bottom of the screen so you guys can see it. So let's get into the next category. Skincare, my favorite. <laughs> so for the first item I got for skincare, the 2% um, mask I usually get from The Ordinary was sold out. So I got the Sephora mask, uh, well this is in French, a purifying mud mask and it looks like this. It's a charcoal mask that you can use, charcoal and mud mask you can use to detoxify your pores. I purchased this before. It was a good product. I think this is like a glam glow dupe. My only qualms about it is like you have to use this consistently or the product will dry out inside the container. I don't know how you can get it so the product doesn't dry out but the product sometimes dries out. This was like $16 so this would be my mask that I use twice a week because after I finish my um, ordinary salicylic acid mask. This is this is the mask I've been using twice a week, the salicylic acid mask. Um, but I'm not using that because I didn't buy it. And also I want to try something new, try something different. The next product I bought for skincare, ooh, y'all, Parisi. This is the Drunk Elephant product right here. It's the Fam Boss Glycolic Night Serum. It looks like this. Y'all, this was 90 US dollars. 90 dollars. People really like um, Drunk Elephant. I don't know how this works. This top works yet. Oh, here you go, it's a twist. So it's a night serum I'm gonna use to fade some of the dark spots on my cheeks. So far, honestly speaking, the dark spots on my cheeks have faded significantly. It's just I'm doing some maintenance, so I'm just going to keep doing treatments to keep them nice and faded. The next skincare product I have is the um, Primera Cream. Oh wait, this is in French. Here we go. The Primera Alf Alpine Berry Water Cream Hydrate and Glow looks like this this is what it looks like this is the box i heard about this lovely product from my sister hey sissy so this will be my night cream i haven't used it yet i'm finishing up my fresh lotus youth preserve cream after i finish that one i will be jumping into this one 
I did do a little swatch on the back of my hand and this feels very similar to the fresh deep hydration cream that I really really enjoyed so I'm pretty sure I will like this one as well thanks sissy the next product I bought for skincare um, would be the Coors foaming cream cleanser it's like a yogurt cleanser it looks like this I bought the full size of this this was like anywhere from 26 to 30 dollars it's just a um, yogurt foaming cleanser is you know that thick cleanser i don't want to waste any products so it's going you better go back in there <laughs> not very scented light scent i'll be using this during nighttime when i want to take off my makeup after i like do my oral cleanse and then i'll use this to remove everything else as my nighttime cleanser i think this will be fun i love getting like different cleansers because Cleansing is fun to me. I don't know why. It's just, it is fun. The next product I got was for the daytime. It is the Fresh um, Vitamin Nectar Glow Juice Antioxi Antioxidant Face Serum. I got the mini one and it looks like this. Comes with this little box. It comes with a dropper and I was planning on using this in the morning time for um, my cheeks a couple times a week using this in the morning time for my cheeks. This was I think like 26 to $28. I don't know. Um, I don't fully remember. The next product I have for skincare is the Milk Makeup um, Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. And it looks like this. I purchased this to replace my Laneige overnight lip mask that I finished. It smells kind of medicine-y. No real fragrance. Also, there it seems to be a lot of packaging, but like I don't know why there isn't like product all the way up here. So this was $20. I've enjoyed the milk makeup products that I've used so far. It's just been the Hydro Grip Primer. But I'm excited to try this. See if there's a new, you know, queen bee in town for the lip products. The next um, item I purchased was the Dermalogica Brighten by Day Kit looks like this it was 75 dollars y'all i've talked about this so many times so i'm not going to get too too into it it was a spray by day kit it comes with three products the daily microsfoliant the dermalogica uh special cleansing gel and the advanced repair no the advanced dynamic skin recovery spf 50 for a daily moisturizer looks like these these three products that's what it comes in the kit. And this is like maybe my second or third one I've purchased of these. I really like it. Works, works well so far. And I think that the high SPF has really helped maintain my dark spots and keep them like faded down. The next Dermalogica product I also purchased was this little doozy. This is the Dermalogica um, uh, by Lumen. I, by, by Lumen C Eye Serum and it's a night cream that looks like this. Yo, this was $70. Hopefully this, I need to see results with this. This was $70. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to try to use it consistently on my eyes and hopefully come back with a review on how this works because this was expensive. And to be completely candid, I've used eye creams before and I haven't really noticed anything drastically different even with some of the major favorites. Um, used a banana eye cream, didn't really see anything. Um, I've used cheaper ones, I've used more expensive ones and right now I'm kind of like eye cream, not eye cream. So the next product I have is the KP Bump Eraser Scrub with AHA. This is like First Aid Beauty, it looks like this. I've already purchased one of these before. I used this 
with my um i had this in my like skincare leg care routine to address my keratosis pilaris i use this a few times a week i'm gonna be a little bit more consistent because it's summertime soon and by god's grace we'll be out you know frolicking as best as we can once things cool down and i want to use the this more consistently because I'm almost finished with the one I had so this is just a wee up okay another skincare product I have is this this is the inky list vitamin C intent helps intensively bright like it's vitamin C serum from the inky list it looks like this this was $15 and comes in a kit like this so I plan on taking this and putting it towards my elbows and knees. I have darker elbows and knees, so I'm going to use this vitamin C serum to help lighten my elbows and knees. I bought two of these and I hope it works and I hope this is a great treatment. I've done a lot of treatments before in the past and nothing seems to really be lightening them up, but they are smoother because I just basically, I didn't exfoliate my knees and elbows like I should have and I'm trying to... Um, Trying to get them a little bit more even with the rest of my skin tone. So yes, I hope these two items work. So now, let's get into makeup, shall we? So for my first makeup product, I have the Tatcha Liquid Skin Canvas. Comes in a container like this, looks like this. So the girls have been raving about this liquid skin primer on YouTube. I haven't used it yet. I'm still kind of finishing up my Milk Hydro Grip Primer from last year, but I really am excited to use this. I don't use primers that often, so I know this will... I mean, not that I don't, don't use primers that often. I just don't wear makeup that often to need primers. So I, I believe this will last me a good, good, good while. So I'm very excited about that. It was $52. So it was expensive, so it better last me a long time. The next thing I have is I bought two Laura Mercier products. I bought the Translucent Setting Powder and the Translucent Setting Powder in Deep. So I bought the two and let me show you. Here they are. I just bought the mini ones because I don't use them that often and I haven't actually finished them. So I'm very excited to use these. These are like oldies but goodies. People love these. And I, I think they're going to work really, really well with my skin. So the last product I purchased was the uh, Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And it looks like this. So I purchased this in the shade Flax. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand and give you guys comparison swatches with some products that I also have. So this is Flax. I'm going to put it right here. That is Flax. Ooh, it's so creamy and thick. It, there's a lot. It is thick. See how that would be such a nice highlighting concealer on me? Now let's compare it to two other concealers that I've had before. Now first I'm going to take the Born, the Way, Born This Way concealer in the color Butterscotch and I'm going to put that right underneath. So Flax Butterscotch right underneath. Butterscotch is like my best concealer. And then one time I was in Sephora and the guy was like, you should get caramel. I was like, okay. And I don't think Karma works as well for me. Okay. So <laughs> it looks similar. This is Caramel, this is Butterscotch, and this is Flax. So Flax to me, from the camera viewfinder, looks like in between these two. So Flax, Butterscotch, Caramel. I don't know. It looks super light. I don't know. Am I... <laughs> Maybe I got it right, maybe I got it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll be putting it on. It's just people have so far have been loving it on YouTube. And I wanted to give it a go, give it a try, see if I was missing out on anything. 
So thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Did you pick up anything in the Sephora sale? Let me know down below in the comments. Just a mini, you know, a little rant, a little observation with Sephora. My products took an incredibly long time to get here. I ordered them on the 17th and I think I got them on the 3rd, 4th. Here's the thing, I they mentioned that there was delayed shipping, but they didn't really update me on why my products hadn't shipped after like eight business days. I was like, when are these gonna ship? When are they gonna ship? I was trying to be cute, because I understand, you know, we're taking precautions. It's just, I've purchased from Ulta and I've gotten my stuff within five business days, honestly. And Ulta has also treated their employees a little bit more humanely during the um, this crisis. So the delayed shipping, the lack of communication and transparency on the status of my order, and the way Sephora has treated their um, employees during this time, kind of like, you guys are easily pushing me towards the Ulta, you know, Ulta door. But yes, uh, sorry for that little rant, because I wanted to film this video. I think Sephora hauls are fun. I wanted to film this video, throw it up on YouTube, show you guys. But if anyone else experienced delayed shipping, let me know down below in the comments. Like, And then I would get these emails like, get something for Mother's Day. Meanwhile, it had been 10, day, 10 business days and my order still had a chip. I'm like, how are we supposed to order something for Mother's Day from Sephora and expect it to get here on time? Whatever. So. Finally, for fun, my eye look today was all the e.l.f. palette and jalapeno. Look at the eyes, look at the eyes, look at the eyes, snake eyes. I even got the little under eye going on today. I'm getting better at it. What I'm learning is that with my eye shape, I can't draw it out all the way here because it just ends up looking really messy. So just keeping it real cute with the wing on the side. That's a money shot. That's a money shot. <laughs> Thank you all. Y'all have an amazing week. Bye, y'all.